Picture this. You boot up your computer, and instead of the familiar Windows desktop or a clunky old Linux interface, you're greeted by something that looks shockingly close to macOS Sequoia. The dock glides smoothly across the bottom of the screen. The animations feel fluid, polished, almost luxurious. The window buttons are exactly where you expect them to be. The system fonts are clean, modern, and easy on the eyes. At first glance, you might genuinely think you're running Apple's latest operating system. But here's the twist. You didn't pay a single dollar for it. There's no Apple ID, no lockdown ecosystem, no forced hardware upgrades. And somehow, it runs faster than macOS on the same machine. This is not a concept, not a theme pack, and not a gimmick. This is a real Linux distribution, and it's quietly becoming one of the most interesting options for people who love the Mac OS. Look but want more freedom, more performance, and zero cost. For years, Mac OS has been praised for its design. Apple knows how to make an operating system feel premium. The spacing, the transparency, the animations, the subtle sound effects, all of it works together to create an experience that feels refined and cohesive. The problem is that Mac OS comes with strings attached. You're locked into Apple hardware. You're limited in how much you can customize. Updates sometimes slow down older machines. And every year, Apple nudges you a little harder toward buying new hardware. For a lot of users, especially those who love design but also value control and performance, this has created a growing sense of frustration. That's where this Linux distro enters the picture. It takes inspiration from Mac OS Sequoia, not by copying Apple's code, but by carefully recreating the visual language and user experience using open source tools. From the moment you log in, it feels familiar in a way that's almost uncanny. The global menu at the top integrates beautifully with applications. The dock behaves like you expect, with smooth magnification effects and elegant app indicators. Window animations are subtle but responsive never getting in the way of your workflow. And unlike Mac OS, everything you see is customizable. If you don't like an animation, you can change it. If you want a different dock behavior, you can tweak it. If you want the system to look even more minimal, you can strip it down to the essentials. What really surprises most people though, is the performance. On the same hardware where Mac OS might feel slightly sluggish, especially on older Intel-based Macs or Hackintosh style setups, this Linux distro feels fast. Apps launch almost instantly. Multitasking is smoother. Memory usage is noticeably lower. The system feels responsive even under heavy load. That's because under the hood, Linux is incredibly efficient. There's no background telemetry constantly phoning home. There are no hidden services eating up resources for features you didn't ask for. You're getting a clean, optimized system that does exactly what it needs to do and nothing more. The installation process itself is surprisingly simple, especially for something this polished. You don't need to be a Linux expert. You download the ISO, flash it to a USB drive, boot from it, and follow a guided installer. The installer walks you through language selection, keyboard layout, disk partitioning, and user setup in a way that feels very similar to installing Mac OS or Windows. Within minutes, you're at the desktop, and everything just works. Wi-Fi connects instantly. Bluetooth pairs without drama, audio works out of the box. Even high-resolution displays and touchpads are handled gracefully. One of the biggest fears people have when switching from Mac OS to Linux is software compatibility. They worry about losing access to the apps they rely on every day. This distro addresses that concern in a smart way. It comes preloaded with a curated set of applications that mirror the Mac OS experience. There's a sleek file manager that feels intuitive and modern. A system settings app that's clean and logically organized. A built-in app store that makes installing new software as easy as clicking a button. For productivity, you get powerful open source alternatives to Apple's apps, and for many users, these alternatives are more than good enough. For creative professionals, the story gets even more interesting. Video editing, photo editing, music production, and graphic design are all possible here. Apps like Gedenlive, DaVinci Resolve, GIMP, Krita, and Blender run extremely well on this system. Hardware acceleration is properly configured, so rendering tasks are fast and efficient. And because Linux gives you more control over your system, you can fine-tune performance in ways that Mac OS simply doesn't allow. For developers, it's even better. Native support for programming languages, package managers, containers, and development tools makes this distro feel like home from day one. 
Gaming is another area where this Linux distro shines, and this is something that would have sounded impossible just a few years ago. Thanks to tools like Proton and modern graphics drivers, a huge portion of Windows games now run on Linux with little to no effort. You install Steam, enable compatibility, and suddenly your game library just works. In many cases, performance is equal to or even better than Windows, especially on systems where Windows has become bloated over time. Compared to Mac OS, which has always been a weak platform for gaming, this Linux distro feels like a massive upgrade. But the real magic isn't just in what this distro can do. It's in how it makes you feel while using it. There's a sense of control and ownership that's hard to describe if you've only ever used lockdown operating systems. You're not being told what you can and can't do. You're not being nudged towards subscriptions or cloud services. You're not forced to accept design changes you don't like. This is your system, and it respects that. Every update is transparent. Every change is documented. And if something breaks, you have the tools and the community support to fix it. Speaking of community, that's another huge advantage. Behind this distro is a passionate group of developers and users who genuinely care about the project. Updates are frequent but stable. Bugs are addressed quickly. New features are added based on user feedback, not corporate strategy. There's a sense that this system is built by people who actually use it every day, not by a marketing department trying to hit quarterly targets. Security is also a major selling point. Linux has a fundamentally different security model compared to Mac OS and Windows. Applications are sandboxed, permissions are explicit. The risk of malware is dramatically lower, especially if you stick to trusted repositories. You're not constantly bombarded with security warnings or antivirus pop-ups. The system is secure by design, not by afterthought. For privacy-conscious users, this is huge. There's no data collection happening behind your back. No analytics quietly running in the background. What you do on your computer stays on your computer. Now let's talk about customization. Because this is where the Mac OS comparison really starts to fall apart in Linux's favor. Mac OS looks great, but you're largely stuck with Apple's vision. You can change the wallpaper, adjust the accent color, and maybe tweak the dock size, but that's about it. This Linux distro, on the other hand, lets you customize almost everything. You can change window behavior, animations, themes, icons, fonts, and shortcuts. You can make it look exactly like Mac OS Sequoia, or you can slowly evolve it into something completely unique. The choice is always yours. Despite all this power and flexibility, the system never feels overwhelming. That's what makes this distro special. It manages to balance advanced features with a user-friendly design. New users feel comfortable right away, while experienced users have endless options to explore. It's rare to find an operating system that does both so well. Another often overlooked advantage is how well this distro handles older hardware. If you have an older Mac that Apple has officially abandoned, this Linux distro can give it a second life. Where Mac OS updates might slow it down or refuse to install at all, Linux runs happily and efficiently. Even machines that are 10 years old can feel fast and responsive again. This isn't just good for your wallet, it's good for the environment. Extending the life of existing hardware reduces electronic waste and makes computing more sustainable. And let's not forget the price. Or rather, the lack of one. This distro is completely free. No trial period. No subscription. No paid upgrades. You download it, install it, and it's yours. Forever. For students, freelancers, and anyone on a budget, this alone is a game changer. You're getting an experience that rivals, and in some ways surpasses, a premium operating system that costs hundreds or even thousands of dollars when bundled with hardware. Of course, no system is perfect. There will be apps that only exist on Mac OS. There will be workflows that need adjustment. There might be a short learning curve if you've never used Linux before. But for many users, those trade-offs are more than worth it. Especially when the alternative is being locked into an ecosystem that prioritizes control over choice. What's fascinating is that this Linux distro doesn't feel like it's trying to replace Mac OS out of spite or rivalry. It feels more like an answer to a question that many users have been asking for years. What if we could have the beauty and polish of Mac OS, the performance and freedom of Linux, and the price tag of zero dollars? For a long time, that felt like an impossible combination. Now it's real, and you can download it today. As more people discover this distro, it's starting to challenge long-held assumptions about Linux. The idea that Linux is only for programmers or power users is becoming outdated. 
This system proves that Linux can be beautiful, intuitive, and accessible without sacrificing performance or control. It shows that you don't need a trillion-dollar company to create a great user experience. Sometimes all you need is a passionate community and a clear vision. So if you've ever looked at Mako Sequoia and thought, I love how this looks, but I wish it were faster, more flexible, and free, this Linux distro might be exactly what you've been waiting for. It's not just a Mac OS lookalike, it's a statement. A reminder that great software doesn't have to be expensive, restrictive, or tied to a single brand. It can be open, fast, and designed around the user. And once you experience that for yourself, it's very hard to go back.